part eight. I can't even believe it. Have we been doing this since the dawn of time? I feel like this is the project that I can never see the end of. And we really want to. I mean, it was my idea. Nobody's forcing us to do this idea. It was my idea because I said, I'm not going to move all my stuff into a storage unit and pay somebody else every month when we could just build on to our shed. Well, you know, have you have you ever noticed that when you have an idea, have a project, um, it doubles in scope and uh, expense and everything else? But Olivia and Ryan and baby Isaac, well, they're worth it. They've moved in with us so that they can transition from renters to homeowners. And I emptied two bedrooms and a full downstairs living room, which we've always called it the playroom. Now we're trying to train ourselves to call it the den. And so I had all these ideas about, well, okay, let's just make a great storage place. But um, obviously, if you're going to make it fabulous, you can't just put a bunch of junk in there. I do have um, a wall of shelves that's going to happen. And I thought I would put little curtains in front of the shelves to hide my great wall of Rubbermaid. Um, but then I realized that wouldn't quilts be just gorgeous in front of my you know in front of the rubbermaid tubs you can see in the insert there that's the what that's that big long blank wall didn't even put windows on that wall because i knew i would use the whole wall for my rubbermaid tubs that have my craft supplies and some decor and just you know i craft in almost all the categories possible so you know i do have a lot of stuff and i'm getting old and the older you live um the longer you live the <laughs> the more stuff you can collect okay but i am boy i'm culling out you can't believe how i'm culling out i'm i've already let go truckloads of things i mean truckloads okay you're seeing all the things you've seen before if you've been watching this series with me you've um, seen some of these things before but i like to include it so that you can kind of get a recap of what we're doing <clears throat> paint plans and paint is happening okay so this image just i thought was adorable i loved the color scheme i loved it loved it and the first pic, uh, little sample thing the biscotti i did stay with that truffle okay look at all the samples it's crazy but i have to do this to myself okay truffle truffle or wild truffle truffle okay that's what truffle looked like and it just looked dark gray just dark gray which is not bad but i just kind of felt like it just needed to be not just plain dark gray i mean i wanted it to blend in very well with all the pine trees and stuff back there so i got a little sample it's five dollars and something for the little sample jar and just decided i needed to try something with a little more something to it so turkish coffee does that look green at all to you on that sample no but when we got it on the building it has a green tint to it and we all love it we love it and it actually looks a pretty good bit like that little uh, pinterest inspiration image so again you can see the difference between the um truffle and then there's turkish coffee okay i don't know what they're doing to their coffee over in turkey but if it's green i gotta wonder what's happening um all right so then here's the other side of the old original shed that i'm testing these colors on and i'm just loving it and i even have some of the bis biscotti on that window frame beside me the door is still the original dark red slash burgundy slash maroon whatever it is um from the original painting and the top is just very faded Oh, bless its heart. Look at my little old shed. It's looking so rough, but hey, it's about to get better. You're going to see some improvement here in a minute. Anyway, um, I had to look at that those samples for a few days before I was really sure what I wanted to do. And Ben has been calling the front of this new edition part the Greek temple because it's just so tall, but that, that gets better too. All right, so over here... I'm showing a close-up at a different time of day with different lighting. I mean, I really have put a lot of thought into this. Um, and 
again with the other side just to be sure that I didn't like just plain gray because that's all that truffle was it's just like a really just I guess a brownish gray but it was a gray I, did, I was surprised at that this is why it's important to do the samples before you buy five gallons which we got five gallon buckets all right now here comes the drama that red maple is what I want my doors to look like um, and I'll get back to the color issue after you can observe what 20 years of neglect to that poor door we don't even know what happened here I don't know if we just didn't think about it needing to be built out of um, you know pressure treated weatherproof kind of lumber if we just used plain lumber I don't know what we did but I pulled off the bottom piece and realized that those vertical boards there was just nothing left of them and so I thought you know what I'll just I'm just gonna do a little bondo yeah don't follow my advice do do better than I've done but I knew that we would probably if I if I didn't do something to fix it quick Ben would want to just like redo the whole door so I did this he did cut that board for me because he was standing at the miter saw. And I, he says he bought that miter saw for me, but have I used it one time? No. Okay, here comes the drama um, of the paint. What am I doing? Showing you the terribleness in that shed? I'm not sure what I'm doing. Okay, that is one coat of red maple paint on that burgundy. <clears throat> that is not looking right. But I'm like, okay, it's having to cover up that really deep, rich burgundy. It's probably not going to look right till I get at least a couple of coats on it. Okay, so we're coming back to that. In the meantime, um, you're probably wondering, is the roof on, Marla? Is the roof? Is the roof on? The beautiful silver metal roof that you have purchased laying just ready to be put on? Is it? Um sorry to report that my sons are in the middle of final exams and um so here i am waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting because ben can't do that by himself and i'm like guys come on we got to get the roof on and they're really doing their best i know they are but in the meantime until that shed gets finished and the roof gets on i can't fix the refugee camp that is my living room and Pretty much my whole house it is getting better downstairs where Livy and ryan and the nursery are and i'm working on a video of how that's looking down there but i'm not ready to share it yet um maybe in a few days because we're getting really close to baby time baby time okay now the the details that i just keep coming up with um to my amazement ben loves all my ideas we did decide to go with French doors. We thought we might do barn, barn sliding doors, but then we realized, no, they won't, they won't seal and it wouldn't be the best. So I found a set that's normally like almost $1,000. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for $100. All right. Then I saw this adorable image of the little awning over. Now, those are carriage doors, which I, they're much bigger than the French doors I'm going to have. Um, but I did a little mock-up again with the hack job of the Photoshop it's not it's not even right but it gives you a vague idea of what we're going for what we are aiming for the little detail in the gable that'll be cedar beams and Ben said if we do that let's do cedar shakes on that little awning and so I said let's go to Lowe's right now and get everything we need so here's Ben looking through the cedar posts <laughs> and there's two bundles of cedar shakes and it's going to take at least two more bundles of cedar shakes because I don't know y'all every, every idea you have it just takes way more time way more expense way more materials <sighs> it shouldn't surprise me at this point but you know at this point uh, we've got quite the investment going in this in this she shed but we all are so excited about it being family space I'm not going to junk it up it's not just going to be a storage shed we really are going to use it for enjoyable living space yes it will be insulated and um, climate controlled from the start we're going to go ahead and do what it takes 
I don't know how we're going to do it. We'll figure out a way. We always do. But um, yeah, bless his heart. He has, I don't, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know how many times we've been in this lumber area of Lowe's and he has loaded up these carts and then put it in the back of the truck, put that red flag on the end of the long lumber. And here we go, the four minutes down the road to our house. We are very close to, to Lowe's, so it's not bad. Um, yeah, here we are at Lowe's. We got a whole five gallon bucket of Kills primer. Um, that's my purse. Why did I do that? Um, and we got them to tint it. See, they got it really messy. We told them to tint it as dark as they could, the kills, so that when we put that dark actual paint color on it, you know, we wouldn't have to do as many coats to cover it up if we were going from white kills. And they will tint it for you. It won't be the color that you end up with, but it'll be it'll be closer to your final color. All right. I've been thinking about the furniture layout and just I've changed my mind a little bit on a few things. Now that's the under the loft is going to be my craft craft area in the back. And um, I've, I've played around with all kinds of different ideas. And then I made one that was actually to scale. I had some paper that had the dots. Uh, every dot was half a foot. So, you know, I made it to scale and I was able to see what I really wanted to do and what I didn't want to do. Okay. I'm, I've decided not to use the old green desk that's going to go to my daughter's house that lives in, you know, like 30 minutes away. Okay, and checking that we still have room to walk three feet. That's as wide as a hallway almost, so I think that's okay. And I might turn the bed the other way, and in the other corner, maybe we might put a twin bed. Because it's a, a queen bed on the right side over there. As far as lighting goes, we're planning to use these boob lights under... You know, like on the underside of the loft in my craft area. Parrot Uncle Company has sent me a fan. I'm going to have to do a grand unboxing. Um, and, and won't that be gorgeous in the main area? And then I do have the little in the corner. That's my chandelier that looks a lot like my inspiration picture. We have not done a single thing about finding uh, banister stuff. That's just a plain lumber one. But I want, you know, I want fabulous if I can. Fabulous, chippy, and old. That's my idea of fabulous. And I do have um, someone in my city who's selling these for $5 a piece. So i got to make time to go over there. Somebody's going to buy them all. And then I'll have to go back to square one trying to figure out what to do. Okay, my idea for the interior walls. First, I wanted to use barn wood. Can't find any that's not a million dollars. Then I thought, okay, I'll use old fencing. But can't find people willing to, uh, you know, I found somebody willing to give it. But, you know, then in the meantime, there's exterior um, siding. There's this beadboard plywood from a supply place in my town that's $19 a sheet. I mean, I'm loving the way all that stained wood looks in there. And I think that's what I'm going to do. But um, again, the decisions, they just never end. I don't know what color, special walnut, provincial, early American, English chestnut, something on that side. Not as light as honey maple, because honey maple is kind of what it looks like, just raw. Okay, we have got construction progress to report, and I am happy that we have made a lot of visible good progress. We still got a skeleton roof up there. We don't have the panels. You know, it's going to have to have plywood, and then it's going to have to have the metal uh, roofing on top of that. And Ella is our ever faithful, ever present helper. We have not cut the door in between Little Shed and Big Shed. Um, you know, there's just so much. But isn't that pretty how you can see? I'll miss that. I'll miss being able to see my trees just with their new little leaves budding out. Okay, there's the back, the loft above, and then under the loft will be uh, my craft area. Well, where I have craft supplies, I'll probably craft all over this place. But... Um, yeah, we didn't light a fire for a few days because the wind has been too high and it blows the smoke right on the guys because of the direction the wind blows. And there's my metal. That doesn't look like it's enough to go over my entire roof, but it is, evidently. I mean, Ben did the math. He is a rocket scientist after all. Okay, I mean, you know, he can't find his own socks in our house because my house is crazy, but he's a rocket scientist. He really is. I'm not even joking about that. Okay, nor am I joking about him not being able to find his socks. 
but I love him. Okay, so um, the guys, the guys, Sam and Joel are such good workers. They really are, but it is finals. Time for them to do finals, and they have to study, and they had a million assignments, term papers, and all kind of stuff, and I'm just personally put out, you know, there's Ron. He's faithful to help us, um, but, you know, I know the boys can't help. They have to study for finals, but I'm personally put out by that because I really want that roof on, and we can't do it. We can't do it without all the guys present and available, but um, Ben's up there at the high school part of that ladder my word and I'm still not doing anything over there on the left but you'll see it in a minute I always am amazed that they can be up there without being absolutely terrified because when I get up there I'm terrified okay now we did talk about how um, we had our tent our, our primer tinted and then we got also a five gallon bucket of the actual Turkish coffee and um <sighs> that's a lot of stuff I'm talking a lot I drank some Mountain Dew Diet Mountain Dew that kind of got me hopped up even though it's like 8.30pm on Sunday night and I'm trying to get this done so that I can share with you it's been days and days since I've put a video out but y'all we're working so hard and I'm, I'm doing the best I can I know y'all know this but um, in the meantime when I'm behind on posting just go find an old video of mine so that um, so that my, my it helps my channel you know I make just a teeny tiny little bit of money from my YouTube channel. I mean, maybe someday I can make enough to to say I make money from it. I mean, it, it it's pretty good. It's okay, but um, that's not really the main reason I do it. I do it because I love doing it. But if you you know wanted to let some of my videos play in the background while you do other things, it really does help me. Okay, so there's the guys working on. What am I zooming in on? You know. I, I do the voice over sometimes it's days and days after I do the actual footage so I don't even know <laughs> I don't even know oh okay I'm I'm still pondering the question of are you really sure that Turkish coffee is what you want and it is I am sure okay this is the beginning of the awning Ben's just holding a little piece of wood up there so we can decide how to slope it whether we want it to be you know kind of straight out or more straight down and we decided that the cedar shakes would be really beautiful to be seen from the street so it needed to be a more steep pitch you know like sloping downward more and you know he had to hold it in all the different angles and I had to walk away like yards and yards away and then come up closer and then tell him what I thought and in the meantime you know he's just trying to figure out exactly what degree angle that it is that I'm happy with and he's just standing there holding it being, <laughs> being extremely patient um you know he's going to get husband of the year for this I mean I don't I don't even know I don't even know how he loves me this much to do this but he's doing it and even all the details that I think of, he's totally cooperating. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky. I'm blessed. Okay, so here I am from way back, and he has nailed that in place or put a long screw in it or something. Ah, oh, and I think that's about what we decided was good. So now oh, that rope in the middle is our children's rope swing that we just can't bear to bring it to tear it down. Our children played on it. We moved in this house when our children were all so very little. And uh, they all swang on that swing, and we just can't take the rope down. You know, we just can't. All right, these are the cedar beams that will be like the horizontal beams that go across, you know, t from front to the wall. I can't describe it. You'll see it in a minute. But anyway, he's having to notch that out, and he's just running the saw back and forth to um, to eat away at those those pieces of wood in the middle see how he bumps it he's got them all strapped together with something I think clamps and then he just going back and forth to eat that out it's almost done now I love being outside I love the uh, green grass over there we have a million pine cones I'm trying to pick them up and burn them in the fire um, to get rid of them 
because you know you can't really mow over them so you shouldn't it makes your blade your lawnmower blade dull okay so now he's practicing to see if that's the right width and now he's going to start putting them up the boys uh, they should know better than to come out and check on us to see how it's going because um, we almost always need their help. Hey, did you notice? I got the whole little shed painted and it looks like a brand new little shed. I mean, uh, Turkish coffee on all the wall part. I did the biscotti on all the trim and um, I was shocked that that little old shed, Ben's calling it the he shed, big part the she shed little part the he shed hey there's my little granddaughter that was margaret okay now i'm just continuing to put more and more coats on those doors and i swanee they do not look like the color i picked out so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you all to to give me your opinion okay he has put a cedar two by four up on the side there and all those boards that are coming out from the wall toward the front those are all cedar okay this is like the right door might have two coats on it the left door might have three coats on it and then there's the bondo mess down there at the bottom which it's going to work but it's not a thing of beauty and it's not going to deserve to be seen up close so you know um if i show you a picture up close you're going to say that is absolutely ridiculous not even a correct way to do a thing and i know this i realize it i'm just doing what it takes to keep ben from having to build new doors okay one of my lovely friends has asked what are we going to name this thing you know i love the smoky mountains and then i also you know love the idea of a keep which that word keep really struck me when I found this little lovely jewel and we are in the pine trees and I do love that God keeps us so the name of my she shed is Pinewood Keep and I'm gonna make a sign that looks like that raising cane at Pinewood Keep and I've got the round board for it this here is in my buggy at Lowe's today I found some little flowers just they're not actually planted in there they're just sitting in there because I couldn't resist all right that sample of red maple looks nothing like that paint so far I, I give me your opinion should I do like um, a glaze like a maybe an antique dark wax glaze over it I'm just I'm just dumbfounded it's a lot of drama I've got at least three coats, maybe four coats on some places, but I'm not sure if because uh, covering that burgundy was so hard to overcome. I don't really know. I have some cedar shakes laying up there just to kind of, the reason I chose this color was to blend with the cedar accents because I really wanted it to. Um, and I'm, you know, I don't hate that orange color, but it's not what I was going for. I was going for a very deeper terracotta and my paint chip the sample you know that that's totally not the color it's turning out to be so i'm not sure what to do about it i did go ahead and buy a quart of it because i was like maybe with enough coats it will become the color it's supposed to be and you know i had to have a time out today just just to love on my faithful doggy because she just wants to be exactly where we are and she is precious oh we bought a sprayer um the man at lowe's at the paint counter uh ben, when we were ordering those five gallon buckets <laughs> of primer and paint ben said well how much faster is it to use a sprayer and the guy at the paint counter said um uh, about 10 times faster and ben said i believe we need to purchase one of those <laughs> so here he is putting the primer on and see as dark as they could get the primer is still not anywhere near as dark as the paint I'm using but it helps get you there you know it's so it'll be a lot better than having to go from white kills white so he just did the upper he was just going to do the upper so that he could do that cedar shake stuff we'll have to tape off the cedar shakes when we go back and do the 
actual color of it but then he was just kind of enthused about it and you can see it has a hose that goes directly into the five gallon bucket so that you don't have to keep refilling a little thing so we thought that was good all right now joel has come out and he has said please don't film me mom and uh you know i have to say just mind your business um he doesn't want to be filmed okay now that in this picture it kind of looks like it's getting close to the to the sample of red maple i don't know maple red red maple can't remember how it's red maple okay so now here's ben putting the first couple of shakes up there and there's one whole bundle so you know the two bundles we bought will not even know we're near cover it we'll have to go back and get more but that's where we are right now and i'm actually thrilled oh i did stain that leftmost angled bracket support thing just to see you know if it was gonna be a good color and the hammock is back there and the dog that's sam's dog bagheera and sam taking a break and i want to thank all of you for being so patient with me um when i'm lagging behind a few days but you know between videos i'm really it's because i'm exhausted and i'm busy but it is a good time and we're making good memories and this is what life's about enjoying the days you've been given